What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'm going to bring you a gaming news video. I always try to do these, or I want to try to do these, I guess I should say, uh, like once a week, maybe a couple times a month, and they always kind of get put on the back burner uh, because of all the other stuff I do here on the channel. But it is something that I would like to add to the channel if all of you out there watching would like to see gaming news, you know, uh, periodically here on the channel. Like I said, maybe once a week, a couple times a month, whatever the case may be. So hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know if you enjoy this type of content. Of course, we've got some Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay in the background, so I hope you all enjoy watching that. Of course, today I'd like to talk about some different things that have been going on in the world of gaming. The first thing is more delays. It's kind of just the world we live in now, and hopefully in the future, who knows when that will be, this will not be the case as much. I mean, we've all kind of gotten used to games getting delayed, but it seems like everything gets delayed now. Whether it be a new gen game that's being made just for new gen, or whether it be a lot of these games that are remaking for new gen. So... The two that we got kind of delay news on as of late is Cyberpunk and The Witcher 3. They're redoing both of these for new gen, and they have gotten delayed until 2022. No specific date just yet. They have talked about a few dates for uh, The Witcher 3, but at the same time, I kind of hate to tell you guys dates because, as we all know, these have been delayed already, so I'm not really sure exactly when this is going to come out. You can kind of look at GTA 5 as a great example. They talked about GTA 5. Uh, as soon as new gen was mentioned talking about making a new version of gta 5 and of course we know that's gotten delayed several times now so it seems to kind of be the this the world we live in right now and hopefully this will improve uh, sooner rather than later to where we can get a lot of these games out when they're supposed to be out i know all the developers working from home kind of puts a a strain on getting things done in a timely manner another game that is being delayed of course i know a lot of people are looking forward to is elden ring that has been delayed till february 2022 they have not put a specific date in february on that just yet hopefully we will get a elden ring game next year i know a lot of people out there are really looking forward to playing that on new gen consoles also and some other news about some developers moving around and making new studios uh the halo co-creator so the Co-creator of the original Halo series has now joined forces with EA to make some FPS titles. They did not give any specific names yet on what titles uh, they will be making. But this could be something to look forward to or something I'm at least interested in because the original Halo games were really enjoyable. I think that's the nostalgic ones that everybody thinks of uh, when you first started playing shooters online was probably Halo. And of course the Halo co-creator teaming up with EA to make some FPS style games could be a really good thing uh, going forward for that FPS genre. And some other news, uh, Bungie is doing some things within Destiny 2 that the community is really unhappy about. First of all, they're getting rid of or really kind of vaulting some of the past DLC that has come out. So the, Forsa uh, the Forsaken DLC will be vaulted in February uh, and uh, of next year, of course, of 2022. And a lot of people in the community are really upset with this because they have paid for this DLC and now it will be vaulted and it's not going to be in your collection in game. You won't be able to play it or anything like that. But then they came out with some more news that really upset the community. And this has a lot of down votes on Reddit. People on Reddit have absolutely been going insane about this. And of course, one of the community developers came out and said, if you want to play any of Destiny's, uh, Destiny 2's dungeons going forward, you have to pay for those separately. So when the new DLC releases in February, the uh, new dungeons will not be included with that. You'll actually have to pay separate for it. Uh, right now, to be able to get those uh, dungeons with the new DLC, it's about 79 bucks, upwards to $99, depending on what version you get. They said there will be a way to purchase these separately later than having to buy the DLC and the dungeons. But a lot of people are really not happy with the way, the way Bungie has been handling Destiny 2 since they split away from Activision. You know, they're kind of doing their own thing now. A lot of people feel like they charge way too much for their content. Uh, and now Dungeon's not being included in what we all consider to be, you know, kind of the in-game content for PvE players. That's kind of crazy that you have to actually have to buy those separately and also buy the DLC separately. So um, I'm kind of curious what you guys think about that. If you are Destiny 2 fans, it was a game that I played when it first came out. Of course, I purchased it, you know, when it was first released. Played it for a fair bit and then just really kind of lost interest in it. And I know a lot of people were upset when the game became free to play, considering they did pay money for it when it was first released anyway. Just in general, I, I'm not really a big fan of how Bungie has handled their content, even starting, you know, back with Destiny, you know, the original Destiny game, Destiny 1. Uh, Phil Spencer, of course, the head of Xbox, has said that he's looking to, or Xbox in general, is looking to buy 
more studios. Of course, we know they have purchased Bethesda, some other things as well. And they said if it's a right fit for Microsoft and Xbox, they're looking to purchase more studios. Uh, I think Microsoft and, and Xbox are looking to get more exclusive games is why they're talking about doing this. Of course, we know companies do this. I'm not a fan of exclusive games. You all got, you guys all know that exclusive content or anything. I wish everyone could play all the games no matter what platform you're on. I think that would be how it should be in, in a perfect gaming world anyway. I'm not a big fan of exclusive stuff, but it looks like Xbox is still out there looking to buy some of these studios as long as it's something they think they can do well with on their platform. Uh, God of War will be releasing on PC on uh, in January of 2002. So if you not get to play God of War on PlayStation, uh, you guys on PC will have the option to play that. Of course, Sony is bringing out a lot of uh, PlayStation exclusive games to PC. And I think that's a great thing. Uh, so those PC guys, those really nice rigs can hop in and play some of these games and experience these games. And I'm sure the graphics on PC will be insane. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about the Xbox refrigerator. It did sell out very fast, kind of like the new gen console sold out. There's a lot of uh, people buying them with bots and scalping them. I think those Xbox uh, fridges are very cool. I would love to have one myself. But, of course, as soon as they went live, they're pretty much sold out in seconds. And last but not least, PS5 Direct will be doing a holiday order uh, where they will email certain individuals uh, so they can have a chance of getting a PS5. If you do get an email, you are guaranteed to get one. It's not going to place you in the queue like it does with PS Direct normally. If you would like to sign up for that, if you do not have a PS5 yet, I will link that information down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.